Okay, working with watercolors. First thing you want to do is have your setup. Uh, you want a couple, I like to have a couple containers of water, a couple brushes. Have a piece of foil for mixing. I like to mix. You can use tape. Tape down your uh, watercolor. Um, remember, the more water you use, the less control you have. The less water, the more control you have. Uh, washes, you can do wet and wet technique. Throw the water uh, on the background and then go over it with some of the uh, watercolor pigment. Um, sometimes you have to let areas dry. This is a where I finished with this time lapse today. I'm not done with this piece. It's a work in progress. I will share a finished piece with you eventually. Simple flower I did. Uh, mixing my own colors, mixing your own oranges and reds. This is where I added some salt to show you guys some different techniques. You could take a napkin or paper towel and kind of dab at it. That's where the white sections are. Um, here, again, have that uh, piece of foil out so you can mix your own colors. This piece here is a favorite watercolor, Edward Hopper, Gloucester Mansions. Um, this one here is Eggplant and Plums by Charles DeMuth. An Artist at His Easel by John Singer Sargent. The Water Fan by Winslow Homer, one of my all-time favorite watercolors. And this one is uh, Austrian Tyrol by John Marin. And again, these are all different processes on how to use watercolors. These are all at the Art Institute of Chicago. Beautiful pieces.